the week before I had my best race in three years, I was ninth at the European Champs. I said, well, at least I managed to get a decent ride in before I stopped, stopped cycling. I realised straight away it was pretty bad. And then once I lay still and kind of held my own leg on, it, um, it started to not to feel that bad. I'll be all right by next weekend, hopefully. That was my first thoughts. And I thought I'll lay here for a bit and it'll, it'll wear off. And then I tried to move a bit and it just was unbelievable pain. Um, and I knew where the pain was that I'd probably broken the top of my leg on the, on the hip. And I was like, well, you know, that could be it, I think. Straight after Ollie had this accident, the, the first thing that we had to consider was um, getting Ollie healthy. Um, you know, it's, it's very easy to sort of lose sight of your dreams and what you're trying to do in the future, especially with it being Olympic year in 2012. But um, to start off with, you have to, with an injury like this, you have to look at getting the injury healthy. Um, there's no point in rushing into things. You have to give it a fair amount of time and respect. You can't just go and jump back on the bike. And uh, it is quite easy to get back on the bike because when you sat on your, your saddle, you can uh, keep plowing along because your body's quite stable, but you're not actually working the right muscles. Um, especially bent forwards in a, in a position where you can't actually use your glute muscles much anyway. One of the biggest problems is the fact that um, he loses all his mobility around his hip area because of the trauma of the accident and especially after the surgery. So we've actually got to get his, um, some of the, the bigger muscles in his body, the glute muscles working more effectively um, and get really good hip extension so that he can actually start walking normally. And uh, once we've got through that, uh, we can start to get him out on his bike again, uh, working at proper intensity. So we've got a number of exercises um, that are increasing his, his uh, flexibility and range of movement, and then giving him that strength in the, in the glute area. And at the same time, uh, we're looking at trying to increase his, his power uh, as well, so that he's actually got more power than he ever had before. Ollie has got huge, huge determination. He's been doing this sport for a long, long time. He's going to be in it for a lot longer, I'm sure, to come. Everything you ask him to do, I know that he's going to do it, and he's probably going to do um, even more than he should. So uh, you've almost got to hold him back in some ways. The rehabilitation exercises that we're doing with him, um, just to point out that they're not things that a normal person could do after the same type of uh, injury or, or operation, um, because they just simply wouldn't be strong enough. So we have that huge advantage to start with. Um, everybody that's helping Ollie is under a fair bit of pressure because uh, with the Olympics next year, our big target will be to have him ready for the start of March and in World Cup uh, peak condition so that he can really uh, give it his best shot possible in the first three or four races of the year, get as many points as he can and uh, be on the road to, to getting in the Olympics.